Did you know that you could use a keyboard and mouse with your iPhone? Well, we know that you could do that with an iPad, and it's a fantastic experience on an iPad, but what about using a keyboard and mouse on an iPhone? Well, you can do that, and it is really as simple as just pairing the device to your iPhone. But there's also some accessibility things that you can use that really make the keyboard more of a device that you can use without having to touch the screen on your iPhone. There's a lot of gesture-related things and stuff like that that you normally would have to touch the screen to do that you can actually do with a keyboard and a mouse. So you're looking at my screen. We're going to go into settings and I'm going to show you how to set these things up, how to turn some of these on. We're going to walk through pairing a device to our phone so that you know the process of getting this all set up. So I'm going to scroll down to accessibility. If you scroll down, you see keyboards and there's full keyboard access and I could turn that on. Now what you're seeing here is some help. Uh, if you hit tab H, you're gonna be able to see a help menu that's gonna show you anything that you could do with the keyboard. You can also look under commands here and see all of these different commands that you'll be able to do utilizing the keyboard. And so some of these commands may con conflict with other operations that you're using on your phone, but hopefully that's not the case and you can just leave this enabled. If things start acting a little weird, you don't have to have this enabled in order to use a keyboard with your iPhone, you can still, without enabling this, type into notes or respond to social media, do anything that you wanna do with a keyboard as far as typing goes uh, without enabling this. This essentially just gives you more features available that you normally would have to, to touch your screen to do, like uh, swiping gestures and stuff like that. And so you can see all of these here. I recommend just uh, going and looking at them so that you can familiarize yourself with them. There's there's also some settings in here for auto hide, so uh, the amount of time that it takes focus to disappear due to acti inactivity, uh, increasing size, high contrast, colors, and stuff like that as well. Um, you can see here I can uh, have key repeat, sticky keys, slow keys, and then show uh, lowercase keys here for the software keyboard. This is an additional setting, not a hardware keyboard setting. Um, but then we also need to go and look at the settings for utilizing a mouse as well. And that is under touch and then under assistive touch. And so we have assistive touch. And then if we scroll down, you can see we have some things for like pointer devices, mouse key customization and stuff like that as well. Um, initial delay, maximum speed for moving the mouse around, um, and then you know what those keys would do. And so you can customize those. You can turn on assistive touch and assistive touch is going to enable these items. You'll also notice that there's this little uh, bubble here that I'm moving around and it is a menu. And if I tap on that, I get to all of those assistive touch settings really easily. Now this will uh, kind of go away after not paying attention to it for a little bit of time. But if that little menu bothers you, you have the idle opacity that you can set to a lower amount if you wanted to, just so that the menu is still there, or you can disable that menu altogether. And you disable that by choosing always show menu turning off and that menu will be gone when it detects a device that's connected. So let's go back here. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning of the settings menu and we need to go into our Bluetooth settings. Now what I have here is an MX Anywhere mouse. It's a nice small Bluetooth mouse that allows you to connect up to three different Bluetooth devices. And so I'm going to switch this over to the uh, third channel and hold down so that I can connect and now you can see that MX Anywhere is showing up on my phone. It's showing up twice for some reason but I just went ahead and selected the one for the third channel and now you can see that menu is gone and as I move the mouse around you can see it is moving around on the screen and I can scroll up and down using the scroll wheel on the mouse and utilize the mouse just like I would on an iPad or any other type of device and so I can click on things, I can navigate through uh, just by clicking settings there and uh, I can click into a search box and if my keyboard was connected I can start typing so absolutely fantastic that I can use a mouse so let's go back into Bluetooth now we're gonna connect a keyboard so my favorite keyboards right now are from Keychron this keyboard is fantastic it also supports connecting up to three devices and so I'm gonna go ahead and go into a pairing mode here by holding down the function key and holding down number three. And after a few seconds here, it's gonna start flashing fast. And then I know that it is ready to pair. 
and I can go ahead and select that device from my iPhone. And as soon as it pairs, it is now paired and I can go back. And now if I start typing in here, I can type and it works just like that, which is absolutely great. And so the experience here of utilizing your phone with a keyboard and mouse is great. Apple has done a good job at integrating these things so that we can use different input devices for working with our iPhone. For me, this is great when I want to do some social media work. Of course, I tend to do that more on an iPad just because I have the bigger display. But when I'm responding to comments, when I'm, uh, you know, talking to other people on social media and doing a lot of typing, I like using the apps that are available for social media as, a as opposed to using desktop. And some apps are not available on a desktop like Instagram. And so I have to go to a mobile device and utilizing a keyboard to knock out those responses much faster than using my thumbs is a huge win for me. So this is how you're gonna use a keyboard and a mouse with your iPhone. I hope that you found this useful. And I've got links to the keyboard and mouse that I use down in the description below. I think there's some of the best options that are out there. I also have a keyboards video that I did for the iPad mini and all of those keyboards for the most part are going to work on an iPhone as well. So I'll link to that video so that you can check that out and see some of the different keyboard options that are out there. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I put out new videos. But that's it for now. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.